The Honorable John A. Boehner of the State of Ohio, having received a majority of the votes cast, is duly elected Speaker of the House of Representatives for the 114th Congress. Representative John Boehner won a third term as House Speaker despite challenges from conservative hardliners who accuse him of being too accommodating with Democrats. Garrett Webster. More than two dozen of the Speaker's fellow Republicans voted for someone other Bill than Rockets. Boehner or declined to vote at all. Do you solemnly swear that you will support and defend the Constitution of the United States against all enemies, foreign and domestic? On the that other side of the Capitol, Vice President same. Joe Biden swore in new and reelected senators. Congratulations, Senators. Thank you, Mr. Thank Vice President. President. Thank you. They include a large contingent of Republican freshmen whose November victories gave their party control of the chamber. Mitch McConnell is the new majority leader. We recognize the enormity of the task before us. We know a lot of hard work awaits. We know many important opportunities await as well. I'm really optimistic about what we can accomplish. That optimism will be put to the test when the chamber considers a pipeline to transport Canadian oil to U.S. Gulf states. Last year, the Senate rejected the Keystone XL pipeline, and the White House said Tuesday President Obama will veto the measure if approved by Congress. But that is not deterring backers like Republican Senator John Hoven. With Canada and the U.S. working together, we can produce more energy than we consume. That helps us. That helps families, it helps our businesses, that makes our economy more competitive. It puts real pressure on places like Russia and Iran. The pipeline is opposed by environmentalists, an important constituency in the Democratic Party. That factionalism and partisanship were on display on the first day of a new Congress is no surprise to political analyst William Howell. For the most part, I think what we're going to see is continued gridlock. Um, it, in this, what was once a uh, the, the stopping point was singularly in the House. It's now going to be in both chambers for the kind of broad swath of policy initiatives that Obama and the Democratic Party would like to see enacted. For the last four years, Congress was divided between a Republican House and a Democratic Senate. Now the political divide is between the White House and Capitol Hill. Michael Bowman, VOA News, the Capitol.